I'm here to help you with the best YouTube 4K settings. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. You are here because you want to understand the best way to create 4K footage, upload it to YouTube and not take forever or have a massive file size. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so there's a few things that you need to get started with. So first of all, you would start a new project or, you know, if you've got your own template file, that's fine. I'm going to call this one test and you need to set up your sequence in this case on my left hand side. So I right click and I say new item sequence. Now, the important thing here is that if we're doing 4K, the timeline needs to be in 4K. Now, most people go for like digital SLR for the HD, but I've found that 4K is hidden down here. So it doesn't matter what these say, what you're looking for is the dimensions mainly. So red, scroll down here and it's red HD. Now, there's a difference between obviously 4K ready like HD ready and 4K. Now in this case, I use the setting here, which is 16 by nine, 23 by nine. But depending on your camera, if you know that it shoots at 30 frames per second, then go for that one as well. Over here, you'll see the general details of the setup. So what you're looking at is 23.9 frames per second. Once again, that could be specific for you. The most important thing is the 3840, 2160. That's your 4K. Now I click OK and it does the timeline down here. I'm using dummy footage here, so this is HD footage, right? For you to scale it up, on the right-hand side, I do it to 200, so it fills up the full screen. Obviously, if you've shot 4K footage, you won't have that problem. You can just drop it in straight away. Now, you do all your edits, whatever you wish, and when you are ready, just like you expect, you'd go to File, Export Media. This is where we have a look at the important settings. So here is the general summary, once again. Once again, 23.9 frames per second, 3840 by 2160, and it will match it here. The format needs to be H.264, and you'll be looking at something like this. There you go, so it's 4K, right? But what I'm going to do is tweak a few of the settings with you. So I'll show you what I've done in my saved settings. This makes it quicker and smaller when optimizing and uploading to go to YouTube. So, right, we'll close the summary and we'll go, we'll work my way down. So as you'll see here, the width is locked, 3840, 2160. The frame rate is locked. Once again, you can render at maximum depth, which would give it better, deeper quality. You're looking at hardware encoding, right? Because hardware will make it faster dependent on the quality of your laptop. I've got a Dell XPS 15. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. I have an i9 processor. It's a beast, right? So that's fine. Profile main, right? You can be looking at high, high 10. I'm using main, right? Level 5.1. And as you scroll down, you're looking at a constant bit rate. Now YouTube has certain levels suggested for their videos mainly for quality. In my case, I'm normally stood in a, a studio, in an office where everything's set behind me is quite static. Whereas if I was trying to catch the sunrise through some palm tree leaves, then I'd want every fine detail. Now they suggest anywhere between 45 and 65-ish for the best quality. I do 55, it's again, because I'm static. Obviously the bigger the number, the more detail you will catch, but also the higher the file size will be, and the lower, the more ghosting it will be. But 55, I tend to find, is around about good. Once again, scanning down, advanced settings, you've got your keyframe distance, I don't move those, and is your video VR, once again, I don't change those. Audio, I use the AAC, right, and I keep it at the 48 thousand hertz which is normal and it's in stereo audio quality is high and the bit rate 320 right 320 is the top end of audio quality i mean if you're doing like 4k why not i mean otherwise you could do it at 256 or 192 um but if you're rendering at 4k why not render the audio a good quality as well and then once again the standard bit rate i don't touch any of the others it's fine then I go back to video, and down here you'll see the estimated file size. Once you're done, you simply export, and it's sorted. 
For more tips on how to make better YouTube videos, there's a playlist here. Go out there, start creating.